In the past seven months, we've made enormous gains in getting Americans back to work. The stock market is at record highs. Unemployment is at a 16-year low. And manufacturers have never expressed more optimism about the future. The optimism has been truly incredible. Recently, Foxconn announced that it's going to invest $10 billion to build a new factory in Wisconsin. We want to make sure that every job that comes back to our shores is filled with American workers. We have a lot of companies moving back to our country. You're probably seeing that two major automobile companies just announced they're moving back to the United States, and they're going to build major plants. They're looking for the site. They're putting it out to seven or eight different states, and uh, they're going to be very happy building in the United States. It's going to work out very well for them. That's why in June we began a historic initiative to expand apprenticeship and workforce training programs in all industries. We're expanding pathways to success. So important. And apprenticeships are one of the many avenues that lead to the great jobs completely debt-free. And who knows more about the word apprentice than Donald Trump? In fact, under the apprenticeship, you earn while you learn. So important and so great. And you love getting up in the morning and going to work and a lot of great things involved here. We're also here today to discuss additional steps we will be taking to expand apprenticeship programs, especially for women and minorities in STEM fields where women have been truly underrepresented, really, I guess you could say, underrepresented for many, many decades. Technology has become a part of nearly every industry, from manufacturing to retail. And we want all of our citizens, every single citizen, including women and minorities, to have access to high-paying tech jobs and other STEM-related jobs. American workers are the best there is anywhere in the world, and we're finding work for them. Speaking of now, it is our job to make sure that they have the training immediately to lead us into the future. We have great, great hope. We have a great, great future in this country. There's never been more optimism. And again, unemployment at a 16-year low.